What is going on you guys? Tutorial Tim here. Today I'm going to show you how to use the Stark Figma plugin. This Stark Figma plugin is a a web content accessibility guidelines plugin that'll allow you to really figure out whether your uh, content is accessible to uh, impaired users. Um, yeah, so let's get started. Without any further ado, the link is in the, in the description for you to install the plugin. Um, yeah, so once you have Stark uh, installed, it's pretty simple. All you got to do is select uh, one non-frame layer, which could be a text layer, like group, and then uh, your, which would be like probably your foreground, and then your, your second selection being your background. And then once you have that, I'm gonna select my text, for example, um, and then this background. And then I'm gonna right click, go to plugins, and select Stark. And I don't have anything popping up. Let's see what's going on here. I'm gonna detach this, uh, it's a little debugging, you know, nothing nothing wrong with a little debugging here. Going to remove that, let's click, undo, there we go, cool, all right. Um, so we got our text layer, I'm going to select my background here, right click, plug in Stark, oops, make sure at least one non-frame layer is selected. Well, that is text, and then I'm going to select my background. Or plugin select click Stark, and as you can see, the contrast is at a the color contrast ratio is 7.16 to 1. Um, yeah, so our text and large text adheres to double and triple A GAR levels, um, which is great. Uh, we can also test out this snack bar component. Uh, I'm gonna bring it out of the design to test. And then I'm going to select the text and then the rectangle in the text. I'm going to hit done on that. And then I'm going to go to plugins, Stark. And it says at least one layer needs to be at full opacity. Okay, interesting. So this is at not at full opacity. We've now brought it to full opacity. And with that being said, I'm pretty sure this is going to adhere to um, double and triple A standards. So if we right click, stop, go to start, as you can see, it does adhere to double and triple A standards. We selected the background and the text, and we've been given our contrast ratio. And that is how you utilize the start plugin, folks. Uh, we can do it again. We can grab this component. I'm going to take it out of the design again, just because I like to do it like that. It doesn't really matter. Um, select my text here, and then the background color. Right click, go to plugins, and select Stark. And as you can see, that this also complies um, to double and triple A levels as well. So that is how you utilize the Stark Figma plugin, folks. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and comment in the section below and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one.